In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create seven steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. When I click the first heptagon comes, uh, you can add the topic here. When I click the first uh, option comes with the icon, option number one, title and the detailed text. Then with different colors, the second option comes the third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease these options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I am going to choose this heptagon. Draw the heptagon by holding the shift key. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the shape. Shape outline, make it no outline, then align center, align middle. Now I'm going to add uh, seven circles here on each corner. So go to the insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the oval shape. Hold the shift key again. Again, depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease the size, shape outline, make it no outline, shape fill. You can give some different color and then right mouse click, go to format shape under fill, give some transparent. So exactly we know uh, how much uh, we need to uh, cover the heptagon. So select like this, press control D. So second one will come here like this, control D again to duplicate the third one make sure that it is properly aligned again it will come here just press ctrl d and just do something like this all right so you can see here i have done this part now uh, we need to just align it properly if in case if it is not matching we need to just match it properly all right so okay so once this is done what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select all by pressing ctrl a go to the shape format merge shapes i'm going to make it fragment just click the fragment it comes like this and this internal part you can see here it looks like this i'm just going to delete this one or you can retain it not a problem and this is the outer circle you can see here just delete this one so we end up getting a shape something like this so here this is not properly aligned so you need to spend some time to do the proper alignment okay now i can just choose any color of my choice starting maybe i can just select this blue and make it fully zero percent transparent so let me just make this selection and i'm going to make it zero percent tra transparency and then I can just go and start choosing any color of your choice. So I'm just, you can see here, I'm just adding one by one. All right. So you can see here, I've added this one. And again, if you want to add one more oval shape, sorry, the heptagon, you can go to insert shapes again from the uh, basic shapes I'm going to choose this one and hold the shift key you can just insert it in the center shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some light color and then you can add the title here go to insert text box title here center align make it bold if you want you can increase the size and then go to insert text box i'm going to type one you can see here i can make it maybe aerial let's see yeah bold increase the size and i'm going to put it here one if you want you can further increase the size press ctrl d so the second one will come here and later on we can just change the numbers just keep on pressing ctrl d you can see here and then this is the last one so whichever way you want to start so i'm going to start this one and this is two this is three 
4, 5, 6 and the last is 7. Then you can insert the title, title here or just put title only and write a line, make it bold, increase the size if you want go to insert text box you can add detail text here again this also write a line and i'm going to give some gray color put it here reduce the font size you can see here like this and select both of these press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to attach or bring to the next of each option can see here something like this control D now this time I'm going to make it a left align shape format align align left all right again control D to duplicate bring it here all right now once this is done now this numbers also depending on the color of the circle you can just choose this one you can see here using the eyedropper or you know that which color you have chosen you can just select like this so i can just keep on changing the colors depending on the color which i have chosen here okay so you can see here like this one by one you can just change the color and then this is the last one that's it and if you like to add some basic animation effect to this one you can add the animation effect